speed bag in a way that's uh, applicable towards boxing and boxing practice. Not just your rat -a -tat, tat a tat 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 Not just that. Which is that is there's benefits for that also. But I'd like to give you something that's pretty much of a lost art. The pinning and the trapping of the speed bag to the platform. I'm gonna pin it, or as some pl places they they would call it trapping. Uh, some of what I do is similar to a block. There's a jab, a jab, and a cross. Another block and an uppercut. In the gyms in Miami, when I was a kid growing up, uh, I had the privilege of being around with Florentino Fernandez and Doug Vaillant, <coughs> Louis Rodriguez, and the kid Gavlin. These great world champions and top contenders. I uh, were in Miami and they were doing things on the speed bag that I had never seen anybody else do. And it was pinning and trapping the ball along with their and I didn't learn it originally back then. For me I was puzzled. It was too hard to do because I didn't realize how to go about it. And that's the secret. I'm going to give you a secret here today. I don't give any of my secrets away. There's a lot about boxing that I've got stored here after 45 years. I really don't give much of it away too easily. But by request, by friends and, and friends on the YouTube, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a lesson in something that's being lost. I don't want to see it lost. I want to see if people benefit from the speed bag technique. <clears throat> the big secret to working on anything especially if you're just learning it or if you're being reintroduced perhaps after an injury I had recently an injury in my elbow some kind of tendonitis and been a while that I've hit the bags when I go back to a bag after not hitting it in a while or anything even my shadow box or whatever I go about it slow and measured I pay really good attention to my body mechanics my technique if uh, if you're just learning this and very few people actually practice this at all, learn it slow and easy before you try to take it fast and hard. Another thing, when I pay attention to my mechanics, the speed and the power comes automatically. I don't have to come into this workout thinking to myself, let's see how fast or how hard I can do it. I, I come into it thinking to myself how accurate and measured that I can be. I'm really spending a lot of time with eye focus, where my hand is in relationship to where my target is. Let me give you a little demonstration of how I learned how to do the pin and trap style and um, how when I'm recovering from an injury, uh, I go about it the same way, slow and measured. Get the bag started a little. The bag dictates to me where the punch needs to be. Here's my jab. I'm meeting that bag up near the platform. I'm not carrying it from here to the platform. In fact, I'm not hitting it in the middle of the bag. I'm kind of riding high. And I'm trying to I time it there, whether it's coming off the platform, and I'll catch it and drive it into the platform, or if it's riding to the platform, and I just help it going to where it's going. I help it get there a little faster. That's my jab. I'm stepping around. I'm measuring. Jab. Block, hook, jab. That's a block, a block, another block, punch, block, one, two behind it, block, one, two, slow, measure. I'm not satisfied just hitting it. I'm trying to hit it exactly right. That's why you have to go slow. I have to see what part of my hand is hitting what part of the target. I'm not just happy hitting the target. I want to hit it right where I want to hit it. I 
am taking it a little faster now. But then again, I've been doing it a while. But for you who have never done this before, see what I'm doing? And I like to turn. Good technique, good punching technique involves torque, turning. Turn the wrist, turn my hips, turn my feet. The more torque I can evolve in my punch, the more economical it is. The faster it is and the more powerful it is. Good technique provides everything. Economics, power, and speed. You focus on good technique, everything improves. And the way to focus is, is to focus on it slowly. Pay attention slowly. Watch me again, slow. And I'm stepping. There's a hook. There's an uppercut. Another uppercut. Uppercut coming across. Uppercut followed by a cross. Double cross. One, two. One, two, three. Jab. 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 Hook. Jab and a hook off the jab. There's my jab. I slide slightly to the left. Then I come with a hook. Parry. Jab. Cross. Block. Again, slow. Longer punches. Timing it with my turn. That missed. Looked good to you. But with my eyes, I see that I didn't get it where I wanted it. That was about 80% good. That was a good 95%. Not quite as much hip as I'd like to have. There's a little more hip. Still not perfect. There it was. I knocked you out with that. That was the one Marquez caught Pacquiao with. Perfect technique. Right on the chin. This bag is absolutely a good piece of equipment for improving your in-close, toe-to-toe fight game.